over 1,500 empowered lives lost while our government stood by and did nothing. It's time for change. It's time for harsh truths. It's time for close-knit. Yesterday, the 31st of December, 2021, an unprecedented disaster struck at the heart of our society. At 7.02 p.m. at the Dahlia Academy for Magical Novices in Dahlia, California, at the closing ceremony of the 39th Annual Elemental and Energetic Games, an unidentified aperture appeared above the presentation stage of the Academy Stadium. Out of that aperture poured a flood of shades. Dangerous, violent creatures that feed on the life force of the living. These shades immediately set upon the crowd in the stadium and sought to continue out into the rest of Dahlia and its outlying areas. Swift, decisive action taken by the security team for the event, led by Pac Alpha David Shaw, resulted in the reestablishment of the protective ward around the stadium and adjacent training facilities, containing the danger in the name of the safety of the rest of our fellow empowered and unempowered citizens. It can't be overstated how many countless lives were saved by that impossible choice. But despite valiant efforts on the parts of all citizens trapped within that ward, nearly 1,500 lives were lost to this unprovoked, terrible attack. Shades have historically never been encountered in any amount greater than two to three, and to our understanding, they have always been independent actors, representing no known group and acting under no known banner or creed, besides an instinct to survive. They have been regarded as lone, feral creatures with no capacity to organize. There are no records of an aperture of this kind forming on our plane of existence. But this disaster has shown those precedents to be unfounded. And we must find out why. The Department of Uniform Magical Practices is committed to defending the safety and well being of our people, even against an as yet faceless threat such as this one. Already we are rallying our best and brightest to find out how a tragedy like this one was possible. We will find out who is responsible for this cruel, thoughtless attack on our people and our way of life. We don't yet know if this attack was made at the hands of our known enemies, while the timing of this act of terror coincides with continued attempts to destabilize our containment facilities and their defenses, it is not yet clear if those events and the parties responsible for them are connected. Our efforts to recover are ongoing. Violence of this scale is unlike anything faced before by the magical community. As a people, we are still shaken with disbelief, lingering fear, and immeasurable sadness and anger. But in the face of this destruction and loss of innocent life, we have remained strong. We have seen incredible acts of heroism, bravery, selflessness, and community. Our people have refused and continue to refuse 
to let this murderous attack break the spirit and resolve of empowered society. This unknown enemy seeks to weaken and destroy us. They have shown us the worst of this world. But we have responded with our best. And while we may mourn, we will not falter. We lament the lives lost at the elemental and energetic games as you do. Like you, those victims were friends, family, peers, fellow members of our magical community lost to a brutal, faceless enemy. But that loss will not be in vain. From the ashes of this disaster, we will rise a stronger, united people, one that no force, no matter its intent or strength or reprehensible acts, can divide. For the safety of our people, until such time as the nature and cause of this disaster can be determined and addressed, the following emergency ordinances are immediately instated, without exception and until further notice. All large-scale, multi-member magical competitions, exhibitions, and experimentation are on indefinite hiatus. Permanent department security forces will be stationed in all cornerstone cities and major academies and will supersede and integrate any existing local government-operated equivalents. Permanent surveillance and containment teams will be stationed at the formation point of the inversion aperture in Dahlia. Entrance to that zone is restricted to approved department personnel. Department-mandated safety and emergency response requirements and documentation will be issued to all empowered businesses, academies, and institutions, and compliance will be overseen by the Empowered Public Security Administration. The Department of Uniform Magical Practices thanks you for your understanding and continued cooperation.